Hey guys, my name is Amina Kay here on Amazon Live coming to you from Virginia. I hope you're having an amazing night. Tonight we're going over a number of different products in the carousel below. You can check them out. You can scroll back and forth and if you click on any of them, not only are you supporting the channel, but you can also check out the details. So you can go ahead and click on any of them throughout the live and it's going to open into another window. Make sure that you do become a follower to also uh, help the channel reach more people across the Amazon uh, platform and thank you for being a part of the community here. So the things that we're actually going uh, to review tonight, I have some like in my vicinity that I'm going to be pulling out as well as I'm going to be showing you footage here on the different uh, items that we'll be going over. I'm going to pull up some of the product screens as well so I'm going to highlight some things that I need you to be aware of so when you make your purchases you know that there are different options for these things okay so first things first we're going to be looking at the dry shampoo now i do have some footage for it but i have it right here and i absolutely love this stuff it refreshes your hair it smells absolutely amazing i literally just put it in my hair just before we went live it does give it some volume so you also have that added benefit that it's going to not only make your hair smell amazing, it's gonna add the volume. Now, I don't recommend that you wash your hair every day, but if you must, you know, you could still use it in the evening to refreshen it. Uh, I wash my hair about every three days is my average, but again, it, it depends on the weather. It depends if it's really humid that day or if I like did like a sauna or something, then of course I'm going to uh, rinse out my hair at least, right? <laughs> Instead of wash it. I'm gonna pull up the footage for you guys on this one. I just gotta open up the um, uh, folder that I just put together for you guys. Okay, so the first one here is the dry shampoo. Hold on, let me just look here. It's kind of small here on the screen. <laughs> All right, so where did the dry shampoo go? Oh, here it is, it is in order. I'll just make sure it's in order because I put it on order, but I just had to make sure. Okay, so this is the dry shampoo. You just go ahead and you spray it in your hair, you get into the roots and you just move it through your hair just like I did in this video here. And with that, it literally takes like five seconds. <laughs> and it smells absolutely amazing. I keep this actually in my foyer uh, obviously, like you can see on the video. And before I head out, I just spray it down really fast and fluff it up and it's all ready to go. Okay, so let's go to the next item here. We've got, this is a new one. It just came in today. Uh, so I got it right here. It kind of threw me off, honestly, because I was like, why are they mailing me a giant envelope in an Amazon Prime package or Prime envelope? So I got my Amazon Prime envelope. I opened it up. And of course it does come with like a sealed, but it's literally an envelope. So it was just it, like totally threw me off. I was like, who is sending me a giant letter or something? I don't remember buying a letter, but this is the, this is the calendar. Now, it's not wipeable, which I thought originally it was wipeable. So, my bad. It's not wipeable. So, I'm going to actually see the price on getting this thing laminated. But you probably want to do that too if you want to change around dates on stuff. And maybe you have some adjustments in like your sales numbers. Whatever you're going to use it for, it's the whole year as one giant poster. Which I absolutely love the size of this. I love the idea of this. I love seeing like that I've got something for every single month and I have enough space uh, to basically reset before I set off somewhere else or plan another event. So this also is like my accountability chart uh, for things that I'm trying to hit my goals on. So basically all the goals that I have wrote down, I'm going to plan out my year around what makes sense. All right, what makes sense that I already have set up as well as hitting those uh, milestones in my life and of course things always change and evolve but this will give me a visual representation on where i'm at in the year so highly recommend getting one of these uh, i have a friend that actually recommended it to me uh this big huge like it looks like a it's just like this but it's all white and you actually have to fill in the actual uh days of the week which i was like oh you know amazon has a better one it's all in color it's already set for me to write on 
But again, this isn't wipeable, where his is at least wipeable. It's like a giant whiteboard. I didn't want this a giant whiteboard though. <laughs> so I wanted something with some color. And this is the one I found. So I'm gonna actually see uh, how much it costs to laminate this. And I'll let you guys know. If you're a follower, you'll get that updated video uh, when I do the video review for this, which will be in like a day or two. And I'll have the prices for you. All right. Now this is a really good price. It's less than $20. You can check below on the link for the best price right now but I literally got it for barely anything and I absolutely find it very, very useful to definitely like build my goals. It does come with the little sticky tabs for your walls too. So you just stick that right on your wall and you're ready to go, okay? Again, I'll get that price on how much it is to laminate it. Okay, so the next one here is the dog spray. Okay, now I just sprayed my dog, so I don't want to spray him again, but I do have footage for it, so I'll pull it up because I did a video on this. If you're a follower, you'll see this video later tonight because it, it will be up there. Of course, it's a little bit different angle here, so I'm going to have to hold up the screen a bit for you. <laughs> so there you go. You can see me applying it to my dog, Chip, there. And you just spray it to their back. Okay, so he was wearing his little Christmas sweater. This was just like last week. You can see I lift, lifted up his sweater and I just sprayed him down a bit. And that's it, he's done. You just spray their back. You don't spray their underside. They have so many different scents on these. I'll show you what they look like. So let me go ahead and shut this screen down. And I'll show you the two that I have right here. I actually brought them up because I just sprayed my two dogs. I've got uh, mini Yorkshires. So we like these between their baths. Between, the, between them going to their grooming and getting their baths, they get sprayed. I've got the holiday cider and the sugar cookie. It comes with so many different uh, scents. The next one I think I'm going to get is the baby powder or the lavender, but there is other scents as well. And this company is absolutely amazing. It has a ton of positive reviews. Check out the link by clicking it below and it'll be into the new window. You can also see it comes in an eight ounce version if you need a bigger one. Maybe you even need the spray type, which is an even bigger one. Maybe you have a groomer, uh, grooming shop or something. They actually have larger size for you guys that actually deal with multiple dogs. All right, I've got two, but they're many. So, you know, we, we actually uh, have quite a bit of this left, even though we have been using these for about a month, okay? All right, let's look at the next one. Okay, so the next one is some scotch tape, but it's not just regular scotch tape. It actually comes with the container that you're going to use to to uh, to open it or to what is it? What is it to actually put it down and unroll it and stuff? And let me just make sure. Did it get in order or did it get off order? I think it got off order. It did. <laughs> so here we go. I will pull it up here. Oops. Wrong thing. Okay, so here it is. It is the dispenser as well as the tape. And you can see it is a large pack of tape. Now I already went through two during Christmas wrapping presents. I love that it's weighted. It actually has some sand in it. And to see these uh, product videos, you have to become a follower so you can see these videos when they get uploaded. Uh, these videos that we're, you're watching right now will be uploaded later tonight. So by tomorrow, you'll be able to see them as they get posted. So you can see all these video videos individually on the video page in the storefront link. Make sure you do uh, save that storefront page to your desktop. So before you do any shopping here on Amazon, you check out the deals as well as the updated reviews that get updated every single day. Okay. We also have some holiday stuff there and bestseller stuff there in a, in a list. And they're all broken down by room as well. So the tape's really good on this particular product too. It's super sticky. It doesn't rip when you're actually pulling the tape off, which is a positive. 
I've had so much cheap tape over the years that I'm done with cheap tape. I love I love this set. It comes with plenty of tape, uh, and it comes with the dispenser. So if you're looking for a good quality dispenser that doesn't move or anything, this one's it for you because it has the rib the rubber um, bottom as well. So it's not going to move across the table when you're trying to pull the tape out either. <laughs> All right, let's check out the next one. Okay, the next thing we're gonna actually look at some sponges. I absolutely love these sponges. They are amazing um, color for one, as well as I love the thickness of these. So they're super, super thick. You can see like they're they're thicker than normal sponges that you can buy at the store. Really good value on this. Uh, the, it took me a year to get through the whole pack that's in the listing below. I just ordered my second pack of these and they're super super comfy to hold they're a nice grip on it they you know pick up really well they really clean off really well like when you're rinsing them out you can see i spilt some a protein powder and i was cleaning it up on the counter there and it just it just gets it all in one swipe you're good <laughs> and then you just rinse it off and it's it's like brand new sponge it does have the scour side on the other side, which is safe to use on your dishes. It's not too abrasive and it doesn't like dry out your hands or anything like that, like cheaper sponges do. It doesn't even smell. Like I know I've had sponges that actually smell like chemicals. This has no smell to it. So it's really a uh, high quality. And again, it works really, really well. You can see I literally wiped up that whole counter with just one swipe. And, and then I went and I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down you see it's not smearing it's not smudging and it picks up a ton there just in one uh, swipe and then I just rinse it off and literally it's a brand new sponge <laughs> so absolutely love these things again the whole pack lasted me a year all right so let me pull up the details on that I believe that's the only color it comes in uh, so we can just double check I'll pull it up here window is that the right window hold on let me refresh I didn't refresh it that's why it is the right window I just didn't refresh okay so I believe this uh, you can do subscribe and save it comes in a larger pack too so it comes in on nine pack as well as an 18 pack and they both in stock and you can do this on subscribe and save now they do only come in black of course if you click on the link you can go to the actual brand you can see I bought it twice there uh, the Oakling uh, black the um, Oakling website right here on Amazon you can click on that and see their other products and you might find a different color if you don't want them to have black sponges I love black sponges but it's up to you all right I love how thick these things are all right let's go over to the next one here so we've got uh, this is a cell phone um, device to actually hold your phone on a tripod and it works really well in fact it's my favorite one I've ever had and I had a photography business for many years I've had um, I've always made content basically for the internet so this is the best one I've ever had and I will show it here with you on this video I did an unpacking of it last week and I actually got the video for you so let me just make sure that I got the right video up uh, not that one and all these videos again will be in the storefront later tonight it'll start getting uploaded so they'll be all ready for you tomorrow okay there's the bigger one we're gonna go over the bigger one here in a little bit I think that's the bigger one is that the bigger one let me just double check uh, yeah that's the bigger one we'll go over that in a little bit uh, let me find the smaller one okay here it is so here it is right here this is uh, the product that is um, clicked on below so you can click on that and get the details on the pricing on it in fact it should show it right underneath the product uh, we've got two ends here that actually screw into uh, a tripod so basically the first one you can screw into the tripod the second one would be for like your light or for your mic or you can use the shoe mount on the top. It actually slides right in there and it works really well. And then you just tighten your uh, shoe mount onto it. That's gonna hold either your light or a shotgun mic. 
both work really well. You see that you actually screw this one, you don't have to pull it open. I absolutely hate the ones that you have to pull open, even though I do have some of them, but I hate them because I'm always, it always feels like uh, it hurts on my fingers. This one actually screws in and I know it's secure. Like it is secure. You see how wide it is too? It actually holds a case, like a really, really thick case. And my main cam camera that I'm shooting this with is an iPhone 13 uh, Max or Pro. And it could fit that even with a wallet case on it. And if you guys never had a wallet case, they're like triple thickness to a regular case. So my iPhone's like six pounds by itself. <laughs> it is pretty heavy, he hefty and heavy duty. So it can even hold that really easy, not slide, not slip. Uh, this one we're looking at is I believe an iPhone 10. This is just a standard size. But again, it works on any size phone, like literally the maximum size phone you have, it can fit it perfectly, it'll hold it really securely. And you're going to be able to put it in portrait mode just by twisting it. If you actually leave it um, longer on the one end and shorter on the other, it will support it. And you could twist it and then even have room for your lapel mic uh, to be plugged into it as well as uh, a power cord if needed. Uh, you can do that. It does come with that as well, the little Bluetooth device I'm holding up in the video. So it's like an added bonus. It's basically you're getting a free product because I have I've purchased these before and they're really not that great of quality. But this one is really good quality and it comes with a little hand thing, the actual strap, which my other ones never came with a strap. So I highly recommend getting the product and getting the free uh, Bluetooth uh, remote as well. It works really, really well. I absolutely love it. And now I've got two or three of them because I've got two of the, um, the stands that you just saw and I've got a larger one for my iPad, which we're gonna go over in a little bit. All right, let's check out the next item. You can't hear me. All right, let me just turn up the volume here. Oh, you know what? It's probably because my mic, it, it, I actually shut it a little bit out of the way. Hold on. Let me, let me extend it. <laughs> All right. I actually put it in a little bit further. So let me, let me get it a little closer. All right. Is that better, Evans? Good to see you. Let me know if that's better. You should hear me really good now. And I'll turn it up all the way on the volume too. All right, good. <laughs> all right, thanks for letting me know. We have a new setup here in the studio, so I'm still getting that adjusted. I've got so many different little gadgets now <laughs> that I'm just like, okay, now I, I gotta remember where it's at. Plus it's a totally different angle on my room. All right, so let's go over the Calvin Klein's Women Underwear. I hope you had, did you have a good New Year's? I didn't see you because I went out of town, but I'm back. Let's see. Oh, hold on. <laughs> My mic is literally slipping because I pulled it out too much. Hold on, let me tighten it up real fast. I just saw it like leaning. Here, let me, let me adjust it. <laughs> Give me a second, guys. Let me adjust this thing a bit. It's the weight ratio is now way too, too much. I'll move the whole stand. <laughs> it couldn't support the weight of the mic. You know, I have a really heavy mic. It's a sure mic. I've been over it a bunch of times in my previous lives. And again, it is super hefty. There it is. Uh, it literally weighs like six pounds by itself. Uh, so you've got to really tighten up the, um, the boon arm on it. All right. I'm actually going to try to keep it off the screen a bit. There we go. All right. Hopefully it's still good. And we'll make sure that it won't fall this time. All right, let's go ahead and look at the next product. We got the Calvin Klein underwear here. Let me just pull it up here. And I've got it all in a folder for you guys. I tried to show you this earlier today on the other previous live I did. But um, it deleted all the videos off when I uploaded them to my computer. And so I had to re-download them back to my phone. All right, here we go. Because I was going to upload them to the Amazon uh, review section so you guys could see them there. All right, so here we go. This is the um, underwear. This is the Calvin Klein ones, the multi-pack. 
I absolutely love these underwear. They have no seams around the edges, which just makes it feel really, really nice and comfy on your skin. So I really like these. They're my favorite underwear. <laughs> of course, I have other types of underwear I like too. If I want like a sexier underwear, they have. They even have some really nice lace underwear. But here on Amazon, you can get these for a really amazing deal. Because these are like a multi-pack of them. You know how impossible it is to find these Calvin Klein ones and like Macy's or Kohl's? Like it is so hard to find your size. And good luck trying to find a color you actually like. So just get them here on Amazon. And plus the price is like astounding here on Amazon compared to Macy's or Kohl's. You don't want to waste your time like living in stores looking for your size. Just get them here on Amazon. Like seriously, I've wasted so many years like shopping for my size like in stores. I am done with it. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I am done shopping at stores for like basic necessities. All right, now if it was like a special like occasion maybe to go out and just hang out and not have to really worry about it, then I'll, I'll go to the store or I'll go to like a, a nicer store or something looking for like a certain specific gown or dress or something. But for basic stuff, everything comes from Amazon. This dress is from Amazon, which we're going to be going over here in a little bit too. Uh, absolutely love these underwear. They're so comfortable. And they have a nice stretch to them, but not so much stretch that they're going to wear out and like fall off of you. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about it like falling off of you after a couple of washes. It's uh, microfiber, which I absolutely love. I hate cotton underwear. I own zero cotton underwear and I'm proud to say that because I, I absolutely hate cotton underwear. <laughs> so these are a microfiber. Super lightweight, super comfortable. And it's got that little pad uh, piece in there that a lot of underwear um, have. Not too much to labeling too. So, you know, you don't have to show off the, the brand name across the whole front of it or anything like that. So definitely, you know, check those out. They come in multiple different colors too, not just that one. It comes in like so many different color combinations and you can just check out the link by clicking on it to see all those. All right, so let's check out the next item here. didn't do anything okay yeah I went out of town with my mom but it was her anniversary uh, well it would have been but you know my dad passed so I wanted to make it special for her uh, let's see then we've got oh the next one is the the protein okay so we're gonna look at that and how it comes out of the actual packaging on this okay so here is this one and since these are wide format, <laughs> they, I have to actually hold the video up for you guys. Uh, like I actually physically have to hold it uh, because if I if I uh, I let go, then it's gonna be too tiny. <laughs> so okay, so this is what it comes in. It comes in that pouch, and then you got all these different flavors in this, and this has us like. A caramel, it has chocolate, mocha, it has original, which is just the, the coffee flavor. It has, um, I'm trying to think of the other one, peanut butter, and uh, I think that's the only one I'm missing, the peanut butter one. A vanilla, peanut butter and vanilla. Oh, and the cinnamon one. So that's right, the cinnamon one too. I haven't tried the cinnamon one yet. I also got this for my son for Christmas because he absolutely loves coffee flavor. Uh, and he loves having a protein shake every day. So I got him some for Christmas. I got my brother some for Christmas. I got my mom some for Christmas and I got two packs myself <laughs> for Christmas. We absolutely love these things because they taste just like a Starbucks or Frappuccino, but in zil calories, like it's all these have 110 calories to 140 calories uh, per pouch and it has 20 uh, grams of protein. They are all whey protein as well, which is really good for your body to absorb. But if you guys don't know, whey is actually a derivative to cow's milk. So if you're sensitive to cow's milk, you might be sensitive to this. Just be aware of that and just do like a taste test and see how you know you, you react to it. 
Most protein shakes are made with whey unless you get a vegan one, which is mostly made out of a, a pea protein. And I could recommend one, a good brand that comes in the coffee flavor in that. That I just don't know um, if they do sell like individual packs because I haven't found any of the, the um, vegan proteins that I like that actually comes in the packs that you can take in the airport with you. Okay, so I love these because I take these with me on trips. Uh, and they pass through TSA because they're closed, obviously. Uh, and I will also take these um, with me. I always have them in my bag, in my car. So if there's some uh, meeting that goes over or I'm out a little bit longer and I'm hungry, I can literally just stop anywhere, get some water and put this in it and shake it up and have uh, an actual meal where I'm from at. Again, they do taste amazing. Highly recommend you check them out get these this multi-pack so you can see what flavors you actually like and then you can do the reorder here on amazon and get any of the bigger ones as well make sure you do uh, save that storefront link as well so you can give it to your friends and family if you do really like the products that i recommend you guys share the link you know because everything's in there that I'm telling you guys in the video right now. And you're gonna be able to just send them that link. It's gonna be broken down, not only by the lives that I am doing for you guys, where they can watch the live. Uh, also, you can see it broke down by rooms, by uh, what it is. So that one particular product's under supplements. Uh, so you'll have an easy link that you can share with your friends and family, and they can also get access to all these recommendations. Okay. So let's go ahead and go to the next one here. Are they caffeine free? No, they're not caffeine free. Yeah, can I go? Uh, the sound, I don't think I can go up anymore, but let me turn it a bit more. I mean, I can bring it a little bit closer. I'll just put it down a little bit more further on the screen so you guys don't see it like sticking out. Obviously, you can see it there, but that's fine. I just don't like it sticking up like here on the screen. <laughs> as long as you can hear me, we're good. Okay, so the next one here, uh, we're going to go over the hefty trash bags. And the hefty trash bags, let me pull up here. In fact, let me see if I can adjust the sound on the actual um, on the actual stream as well. It looks like it's already turned all the way up on the stream, so I can't turn it up anymore there. And on the actual volume on the mic, it's already turned all the way up. But let me know if you have any other issues, and I will see what I can do. Okay. Let's see what the next one is. We've got the Hefty Ultra, and I'll speak up a little bit louder. I know I've been kind of speaking very, very, very um, quietly, which is usually not my style, <laughs> but we've had a little bit of ups and downs this evening with the stream and Amazon's like streaming software here. It, they don't have it for the desktop, so I had to wait till my connection restarted after we reset the whole house uh, uh, Wi-Fi. <laughs> so it took a little while, and just testing every all the speeds. So we are good now. Everything's back in order. All right, so we've got uh, the Hefty Ultra Strong. This is the multi. Um, what is it called? Multi function? I don't know why it's called multi. Multi what? <laughs> let me let me look it up. What is it? Multi something. Multi-use, maybe? I'm not curious. What is it? Multi-something. <laughs> oh, hold on. I went I went the wrong way, I think. Oh, no, nope, because I didn't refresh the page. All right. We are, it's called the multi-purpose. Okay, multi-purpose. <laughs> I was curious because I couldn't read the whole thing. All right, let's see. In my little tiny app, it just shows ultra. Uh, let's see, we go over here, and I'm going to show you the these trash bags. Now, they are a regular size trash bag for, I think it's like 30 gallon, is a regular size kitchen trash bag. Uh, I really love these because it has a scent to them, whereas, of course, most trash bags don't have a scent. Uh, I actually prefer my trash bags to have a scent. I'm going to see if I can actually pull this up a little bit for you. Let me just unlock it here. So I can scroll it off the screen a little bit higher. Okay, because this setting was a little bit diff like down further because obviously I was holding a trash bag. 
All right, so this is, like I said, a normal size trash bag. It is a really good quality one. I'm gonna actually pull it up higher for you. So you can see a little bit more of the trash bag instead of me. <laughs> and uh, it's very flexible. So you've got this really nice flex to it. Now it will penetrate, obviously, if it's something sharp, but for most trash it isn't, maybe it's just cardboard and you want that little bit of stretch so it doesn't like um, tear through the bag, this will be just enough for any type of regular everyday trash. Uh, it does cinch up really easy and you can tie it off to the top, super simple, and, you, and throw it out. So it's just a really good trash bag. I love the fact that they're black because I can't see through it and I don't want to see my trash, you know? <laughs> I've always bought black trash bags. There's only a couple times that say my mom or my ex-husband uh, brought trash bags. Of course, he was my husband at the time. Uh, so, but you get the point. There was other people that bought trash bags that were white and I absolutely hated them because <laughs> I don't like seeing my trash. Uh, so I always buy black trash bags. Absolutely love those. And that, that is my favorite one. Like I've been buying that particular brand of trash bag for many, many, many years now. In fact, it was really hard to find at, at Target because that's where I initially started buying them. And then I um, found them here on Amazon. I've been buying them on Amazon. Uh, so I don't have to fuss in the store and find out if they're out of stock again. <laughs> like, plus, it actually is a better deal here on Amazon for trash bags as well as paper towels and many other things I'm finding out. And I'm just like, why didn't I just order it and have it on subscribe and save and send that, save that extra 10 to 15% off? I don't ask me. I'm learning. <laughs> I'm learning too, even though I'm the like Amazon expert here. So yeah, I've been working with Amazon for quite some time now. All right, so let's pull out the next one here. So I have an interesting fact. I've actually worked with Amazon since uh, 2005. Not for Amazon, but with Amazon. I've had all kinds of things that I've done on Amazon using their services as well as helping people in their network. Uh, let's see, we've got uh, the tripod one next. So let me pull that one up. Okay, here is the tripod one, all right. I might have to adjust a video on this too. Oh, no, it actually shows fine. I can blow it up a bit, but maybe I'll at least pull it up a little bit so you can see it. All right, so this is the uh, iPad holder arm, and I'm gonna show you a picture of this too. Like it all set up on an actual tripod. The tripod's actually listed below too. It's the Peak tripod, which we'll be looking at in a photo here in a second. Actually, it's a video. I had to think about that, it is a video. Uh, so you'll be able to see that as well. But again, this is the Cobra Tech uh, iPad holder, all right? I'm gonna actually take my finger off of this and just kind of slide it up a little bit higher for you guys. There we go. Now I don't have to hold it so much. <laughs> all right. All right, so again, this is Cobra Tech. This is an unboxing video we're watching. This will be on the storefront. If you uh, are a follower, you can go check that out. If you're not a follower, you can still check it out. Just make sure that you save that page, your desktop, so you can come back and check out all the reviews. But if you become a follower, you have other people across Amazon find this page. So and thank you for that. See, this is what's really, really cool about these products. They always come with like these free gifts. Like we just saw the, um, the one for the phone, right? Same company. And that one came with the, the key fob. That's the Bluetooth key fob. This one comes with the Bluetooth key fob and it comes with this really nice metal, like, uh, what, what do we call ball head? This really, it's solid metal. It's not plastic. <laughs> like All of it is solid metal. Uh, of course, maybe the knob. The knob I think is like plastic, but all the rest of it is solid metal. I was astounded at how good of quality this thing is because this is like a bonus. A lot of other products that I've bought that are like holders for your phone or your iPad, they don't come with other stuff. It's just the one thing that you buy. <laughs> so I already love this company. All right, and they their stuff is really, really well made. Now I do wish they come out with it in metal, the actual like um, thing that you attach to the iPad, just like the this one, the, um, the iPhone one or the regular phone one, if you have a different cell phone, just 
convert it to Android phone. I'm going to say iPhone because I use iPhone. <laughs> I've always used iPhone. So with my iPhone one, again, it is plastic too, the actual holder piece. And same with the, the iPad one. It's the same type of plastic. It's a good quality plastic. But if they made it in metal, oh my goodness, this thing would last literally forever. <laughs> like it would be definitely an upgrade. And I would definitely get it in the metal. But for plastic, it's great too. It works really well. It holds really, really well. It's high, high quality here, guys. All the attachments on this thing is really well made. Uh, you can really trust that it's not going to fall out. Or I, I literally put my iPad upside down in this thing on the tripod. It didn't even budge. <laughs> like It held the weight and everything. It also has the larger um, edges. So you can put uh, it in this device with the case on it, which is amazing because most uh, like holders that are for iPads or iPhones, you usually have to take off your case. So you get that added security of like, hey, you know, I don't have to remove my iPad or my iPhone case and worry about me, you know, dropping it in pro the process of putting it on this thing or taking it off. Uh, or if there's like a mishap and maybe I didn't screw it on all the way. It really does hold though, guys. I mean, the only way you're going to actually like have a mistake with this is if you really forget to un like screw it all the way down. But it even has like this little rubber uh, lip edge on it that ha holds in the phone that even um, protects the edging of the phone and the iPad. So you don't even have to worry about it at all, literally. <laughs> and you can see it does screw up and down really easy and it holds it really, really, really well. Okay, let me show you a picture of it. It, it does have, but before I do, let me uh, tell you a little bit more about it. It does have the um, end of it where you're going to attach it to either this ball head or directly to your, your holder. If that is a easel, or not easel, if it's a, I'm not being easel, if it is a um, tripod or it is like another stand, you can easily attach it to it there at the bottom or even the end of it. The, see where it has the end of it? So I actually use the end of it and I'll show you here in a little bit how I used it. Uh, you can also put in a shoe uh, attachment, either like a light or a, a shotgun mic would be perfect for the top there, your choice, uh, or you can attach it to the back with that other attachment or even the bottom, however you want. It's got so many attachments on this thing. <laughs> I said it is highly recommended. All right, so I'll show you a photo of it now so you get an idea of how I hook mine up. Okay. Oh, this isn't a photo. Why do I keep saying it's a photo? It's not a photo. It's a video. So on here, you're going to see this is a Elgato uh, arm on this. Again, if you are a follower or even if you're not, use the storefront link, save it to your desktop, go under the, the link that or the, um, the tab that says studio. That's studio equipment. All the products are there that is in this video, uh, in this particular one that we're watching. So this is the stand. We're going to be looking at that in a second. That is a peak uh, stand. Again, it's down below in the listing. We've got the Elgato arm on this. And what is holding the iPad is the device that we just looked at. Highly recommend this setup. Okay. Super lightweight, super easy to maneuver. And I'm loving this setup. <laughs> Honestly, I'm still trying to get all my stuff hooked up on my iPad to actually utilize this. But I already love how easy it is to move around different angles and different places. So, all right, let's go ahead and take that screen back down and check out the next item. Thank you, Linda, for following. Welcome to the community. All right, so now we've got the multi-function. Uh, this is a this is like a multi-function cord. You can change out the different endings. You're going to love this, okay? I absolutely, like, why didn't I find this earlier? Like, I, that's one of these things that's like, man, I wish I had this for, like, the last 10 years because I always need a cord, especially when I'm out. So I'm going to pull up the unboxing video for, for this one. All right, let's see. Which one is it? 
Uh, nope. Okay, here it goes. So here is the item that uh, we're looking at below, and this is the unboxing video of it. So this is what it's going to look like when you get it in. And I'll kind of blow it up a bit so you guys can actually see it a lot better. Again, it's kind of hard to show the horizontal video because I know if you're watching this on mobile, it's a lot smaller. Hence, that's why we got a new set studio set up in here. <laughs> All right. So it makes it a little bit easier for you to see these things. Now, this is a really cool multifunction device, or, or not device, cord, I should say. It's not a device, it's a cord. It has a mirror, for one, which is a huge plus because you can check out, of course, what you look like at any time, which is a good thing, especially if you're making content. It actually came with a thank you card with some kind of discount thing. I, I still haven't you, you know found out exactly what it is because I haven't looked at it yet, but... It has a mirror so you can easily check you know your facial appearance and stuff and it's a pretty large mirror too because it's the whole like top of the case see how small it is I didn't expect it to be so small like I knew it'd be small but not this small right it's super super thin too it's not just small it's thin so I was just looking at the different things in it. We've got a couple of different attachments in here. So we got the cord, which uh, that's what I believe I'm taking out first is the cord here. See how the cord is like wrapped around in there? Oh, and it does have space for the micro drives. Uh, so say if you have like a, um, a hero, like a hero camera, like a GoPro hero, if you have one of these, you know that it takes a micro drive in it. Also, a lot of um, DSL, DSLR, DSLR cameras have micro drive in it now. Uh, some don't, but other devices do. So it does hold um, micro drive cards in it as well. As well as, what, it has another one it holds as well. You have to click the link. It does have another little section that it holds. And I don't know what that little silver tool is that looks like a little circle. <laughs> I, I haven't looked it up, but there's one of those in there. It's some kind of tool. It's like for like resetting something. But look how easy this is to like plug in. You can easily plug it into a USB. And there you go. You've got a, a 11 inch cord. That's how long this thing is. It's an 11 inch cord that you can plug in anywhere. Now, if you click on the link below, they do come with the ones without a mirror as well. If you want to get one without a mirror, that's also an option. They have other brands too. For any reason, if this one's out of stock, you can uh, choose another brand. But I absolutely love this thing because I've already used it like almost every single day, <laughs> like, literally. I keep it in my purse and now it's my go-to cord, like everywhere. But so you can easily change out the attachments and, and use them for all your different devices. So you can also hold your phone up with this. So if you want like a phone holder or an iPad holder, you can actually use this for a phone holder or an iPad holder. So let me show you that real fast. Okay, so I think you've got the gist on this. You can literally change out any ending. Uh, see, I dropped the ending on that one. See, so that one's for the phone. And again, you just stick it right on the end of it and you can plug up your phone. Here, I'll, I'll wait till I show you that part. Let me move the camera up a little. All right, you see that? So now you've got a cord for your phone. Really, really easy. And you just plug it up. Or you could change it out and use the Android looking one, the one that's more like a squared ending. So you got all that in that one little box. All right, let me uh, skip to the next video and I'm gonna show you uh, the other feature this little box has. So let's go ahead and take this down for a second. All right, now this is the other half of, of what it can do. <laughs> like this little 
little box that has everything in it. It not only has all those attachments, but it also can be used to hold your phone. So this is uh, just what I'm showing you. You can hold your phone either sideways or I believe you could turn it upright too. I don't think I did that in the video, but it also says that you can uh, put your iPad on it so it can support an iPad. I didn't have my iPad um, with me at the time, so I couldn't show you. But really cool there, super compact, super easy to use. So definitely if you're looking for a cord you could take anywhere and have the bonus of having a mirror and a stand as well, there you go. All right, so let's go ahead to the next one. Yeah, that's Chloe. She jumped right up there. That's why I have the seats back there. I just don't leave like random, <laughs> random like uh, blankets laying on chairs. It's because my dogs are always with me. All right, so we've got um, uh, the stand. And I, like I said, I had it in this video. If you weren't here for the video, I'll pull it up again. So here is the stand that we're looking at. Of course, it has an arm on it. And we just went over that, the product that holds your iPad below. So you can check that out there. To find the arm stand, you can check out the section underneath um, my name that says storefront and go to the section that says studio equipment. You'll find the stand there. Uh, this is the Peak Travel Tripod. Absolutely love this thing. It is super lightweight and you can adjust it really high. Even the center comes up and down on it. It's super easy to uh, shut and open too. And I got a surprise for you guys. I actually have it right here <laughs> beside me. So I will show it to you. Okay, so here it is right beside me and it is really, really tall, but I really wanted to show you this feature right here that you can actually open these really easy and you can open all of the legs like together the whole way down, right? You can open up the whole leg, right? All the way down and you can easily collapse the whole leg in like seconds. All right, I absolutely love that. And then when you're taking it out, you just, Again, open it all the sections and then clasp them shut and it's ready to be re reset again and you're done. And this even comes up and down. Let me go ahead and put it down a little bit so you can see a little bit more of it. All right. This little section here, it also comes up and down. There's a little turn knob here and you can make it go up and down. I love the ball head on this. It's so smooth and easy, and you can put it in portrait mode super fast. Now this little thing actually came with it too. This is a phone holder. Uh, let me lock this little, you, you just push this in and out to lock it. So did you see that? Or to, maybe not, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> maybe I'm wrong there. Now you twist it, you twist it. All right, but you can pull it out maybe. I don't know, it pulls out and in but you still got to twist it to lock it and unlock it. All right, so we've got this little attachment too, and I've locked this. You can lock these also, so I gotta unlock it. So it has a lock and an unlock just by sliding this dial. And then you can unlock the shoe grip. Now this actually comes with it. This is a phone holder. You just go ahead and put your phone in, clamp it in there. It holds uh, one with a case as well. But again, it's a pull one. Of course, not my favorite one. My favorite one is actually the one down below. But this one actually fits right in the head of this, okay? Whereas the other one won't uh, because it's not the same type of attachment. I would have to get a shoe mount for that other one. But what's really cool about this, it's always with it because this little thing pops off. It's magnetic, so you twist it and pop it off. And that's where this iPhone holder goes. And then you just put it back in there. And again, it's magnetic, so it'll stay on there as you're pulling with the lock feature. The lock feature is a little bit harder because you have to like, you have to kind of like pop it open with your fingers and then you just put it in there and it's there. Now it also has a hook here to add some added weight add your bag or book bag to hold the weight down and you can add, have the, an added weight there. 
All right, so that is the peak stand. It's really, really compact. When it's all shut, it goes up to here. And of course, with this down, it goes really, really small. And you pack this uh, in the case it comes with. It comes with an amazing travel case. Also, I just don't have the travel case with me to show you guys right now, but it does come with a super slim case as well. So you just uh, put this right in the case and you're ready to go. Or you could just literally, you know, just shut it and put it in your, your travel bag or wherever. But again, use the case so you won't scratch it up or anything. You see, I got a little nick on mine. I probably scratched it at some point, but mine's been traveling and everything with me. So it does. It does come with a little adjustment tool too, which mine fell somewhere on the ground <laughs> where you can adjust uh, the little gears and stuff if you need to tighten them, okay? But mine fell off somewhere. It comes with this, it has this little pocket that you it holds in there. But again, it popped out when I brought it over here. Let me see if I can find it here. Or maybe I'll look for it after the video. Let's see. I heard it fall. I just don't see where it went. Okay, I don't see it. It'll, it'll come, it'll show up. <laughs> I'll look for it after the video. It might have fell behind the door over there, but I'll check later. All right, so let's go on to the next one here. Uh, the next thing that we have is the Apple uh, I, I, what, iPods? They're not iPods, what are they called? They're called Apple AirPods. They're called AirPods. All right, so this one I actually keep here. I don't have the video for it. You can see the video for it because I've done multiple lives with these things. They're super comfy. They're really great for travel. I absolutely love these for travel. That's why I've actually bought them is for travel because uh, they're so compact and easy to put in a travel bag in your carry-on. So that's why I absolutely love these. Also, you can charge your um, device right through there in in between your seats on an airplane, you know, they have the charger. So you can easily keep it charged by doing that. I do that all the time. Uh, this thing is magnetic as well. So you've got that feature as well. And they're super comfy for around the ears. They are padded really, really well. You can also change these out if you want or clean them, you know, pop them out and clean them. They have a really nice uh, materials that they're made out of. There's no wires hanging off that's going to eventually corrode. The material is not gonna like fall apart or anything. And I'm telling you guys this because both my other pairs from Sony as well as in another company I've had, uh, they've always had a different material. Like they start flaking off after a couple months of owning it. <laughs> so these are the only ones I've never had a problem with. And there's no cords right at the bottom here that gets damaged. So I absolutely love that. They are noise canceling too. And so you've got the, the little switches here at the top, turn it on to adjust the, te the temperature, the volume to, it, to actually go between different features. And again, really, really nice here. They do come in different colors as well, not just the pink color. They come in white, they come in blue. They come in uh, like a black color. Definitely check out the link and you can see all the options that are available right now. Some of them were out of stock uh, the last time I did this video. So, you know, def definitely check out the link, buy the one that you're interested in uh, so you can get them, all right? All right, so that is my, what are they called, AirPods? Yeah, they're called AirPods. All right, the next thing here we've got is the Beats Studio Buds. Now, I've talked about these endlessly, like on all my videos. I won't try to bore you guys too much, uh, but they are really nice uh, every day, like earbuds. The other ones I primarily use for travel or if I'm going to be like sitting for a long time listening to an audiobook and not moving around so much, then I'll use uh, those. Uh, for like everyday use, like leaving the house, running errands, um, going out with people, waiting for a message or a notification, I can leave one in my ear of these and it's hidden, which I love that because I have longer hair. So nobody even knows I have it in if I'm waiting for something or I'm listening to the news or I'm listening to like a podcast I can, or an uh, audiobook, I can have one in my ear, my favorite music tracks, whatever. 
and nobody will ever know, <laughs> all right? Or I can put it on both ends and have noise canceling in both ears. Of course, when you're driving, only keep one in. Don't leave them both in because, again, they are noise canceling. You don't want to get an accident. <laughs> and they're super comfy in the ear. They're super compact. And they also have a little button, too. You can press it. And I think that's to, like, switch between different things. But I can't remember because I always forget there's a button. Uh, the little end cap, the little spongy stuff that you put in your ear, it actually comes with another set that's a little bit larger. If you need to uh, switch them out, you can switch them out. Or maybe, you know, these have gotten old or whatever and you just need to replace them. You can easily replace them and then pop them back in. And it's super easy to just pop them back in or clean them off. You know, you can clean them off and then put them back in. Uh, you can do that with a Q-tip and a little alcohol wipe. They are really compact in here. All right, they won't fall out because they're magnetic as well as the case is magnetic. So the case will not open. Now the case is the thing that you actually charge. All right, so you're gonna charge the case and then you leave your earbuds or uh, your little bud, beat buds in here and they're gonna stay charged. The little beat buds stay charged for about eight hours at a time. And what's a cool hack, you can take out one at a time and have the other one charge when you put the other one in the air. And I've done that a lot of times. <laughs> And more times than I can count. And uh, the box, the actual case that it comes in, stays charged for 20 hours. So you've got plenty of days. Mine average really stays charged for about three days uh, on, you know, using it. So you can definitely take advantage of that. Sometimes I'll charge them up every day if I know I'm going to, you know, definitely be out consistently with it. And, you know, I do keep them charged. Uh, so definitely highly recommend checking those out. They also have some different types of beat buds as well. They have the ones that wrap around the ears and they also have one that has a little like, um, like a little tip. So it just stays in your ear. Cause every now and then with those ones, uh, you do have to like push them back in your ear. But my daughter said she actually put the larger end, um, on hers and it actually doesn't, she doesn't even have to push them back in her ear at any time. And so I haven't tried that yet. But uh, riding your bike and everything, they stay fine. Of course, if you're like mountain biking, you probably want to get something else like the ones that go over your ears just to be safe. <laughs> you don't want to lose any of them. But for everyday use, uh, those are my favorite because they're so compact. They fit literally anywhere in any type of bag. Okay, so check those out. And they come in different colors too. Now, they are currently, I think, on sale still. Yeah, so they're 33% off. All right, so the next thing is 44%. 44% off on the next one here. We've got the Kapow. Uh, this is the um, portable charger. And I've got some video for you guys on this one. Now, I didn't have it charged, so you're just going to basically be able to see what size it is. I usually use this in the summertime, so I do not keep it charged uh, when it's in storage. So I, I pulled it out of my storage, a.k.a. my pantry. <laughs> but um, you can see it's definitely uh, beaten up a bit because I use it. So I use it a lot in the summertime. In the springtime, I use it as the flashlight. I used it uh, camping a lot of times. I done my podcast with it, uh, charging my iPad, or excuse me, charging my uh, laptop on it, and using the other ones for my mic. <laughs> so I've used it for a blender before. Uh, you know, taking it out on the road with me. So it does get used and I absolutely love this thing. Highly recommend it. It is so compact and easy. You can put this literally like under your seat, you know, on the back of like an all-terrain vehicle. <laughs> like it is super, super small. And I love the fact that it does have a nice hefty um, uh, handle. So it, it keeps it just really easy to hold. Even though it is really really easy to hold just by it itself since it is a square design. But again, really nice here. I highly recommend getting that battery charger if you need one. Okay. Which everybody technically needs one. Now, if you're going to get one, that's another question. All right. And I love that one because it's super small. 
All right. So we've got, oh, I, we already went over this. I guess I listed it twice, the Scott's uh, Magic Tape. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and rewind this video. It's going to be a recording uh, here when we get to the end. So just rewatch that part. Uh, we're going to go and skip that one because, again, it's a repeat. And we're going to go straight over to the facial toner. So let me pull that video up. I'm going to pull you up the video that I did back in i think this was the beginning of december let's see it's been a little while now i can't believe how fast like the months just flew by <laughs> all right all right especially with the holidays all right so this is the toner here i use uh like a uh what is it a cotton um blotter cloth so i love these things i just recently ran out i've got to order some more <laughs> but these little blotter cloths are so nice and I use both sides. So this is so nice to get all the grease and oil off your face. And it keeps your face super clean. Like I'm not wearing any makeup today. All right. Now, of course, it's my color tone of my skin is a little bit different just because the lighting is hitting me on my lights. But since I've started using the um, toner, my skin doesn't break out like at much at all every now and then it will like when I come back from a facial and some of the oil that they leave on my face it like gets into my skin and breaks out my skin or if I eat too much dairy like then my skin will definitely break out <laughs> but but if I use this toner like every day like my face is amazing all right so let's go ahead and go to the next one here I'm gonna pull up the next video for you if you have any questions just let me know Okay, so we're going to go over to the next one here. This one is the soap. Okay, let me just make sure. Yep, that's the one. Little dab here. This is high quality products, okay? With high quality products, you only need a little bit. So a little bit goes a long way with these. And it's really smooth. It's not sticky. It doesn't feel oily. It doesn't leave any residue. There's no real smell to it. See, it, it's just like super clear. <laughs> like, I love this stuff. And that's it. You just rinse it right off and you're done. And then just pat dry your face. You'll see I'm patting dry my face now. And then you're ready. You're done. Well, you're done with that step at least. All right, so let's go to the next one. So pretty straightforward on that. It's facial cleanser. Okay. Or facial wash, should we say. It's facial wash. The next one is my absolutely favorite product of all time, other than the next product after that. But I really do like this one. This is the Vital C. Uh, by the same company by image now all these products these skincare products I was actually recommended uh, by my uh, Person that does my facials my if what is it called ethnologist something like that? I can't think of the name <laughs> But the person that does my facials or the, the company that does my facials they only use image and um, comfort zone products so that is their main line that they they actually carry and here on Amazon, they actually have them, which makes it a lot more convenient to get it on reorder and not have to run back and forth all the time. Uh, so they're always out of stock out of the stuff that I like anyways. <laughs> so I definitely do like um, getting it right here on Amazon, even though I do like to still support my, my local companies. So I still buy stuff from them as well. But technically, it is cheaper here on Amazon. <laughs> but definitely, highly recommend this product. It smells so good. It smells amazing. And if you leave it on your face and use it as a mask, uh, which it, re it recommends leave it on for 15 minutes, then it's just going to penetrate into your skin and leave it like so soft and hydrated, which I recommend doing that like at least once a week. It's just going to make your skin so like nice after it's done and you'll be surprised at how nice it actually that it works. But you saw that I only use a dab. It only takes a little and just leave it on for 15 minutes and then wash it off. If you leave it on longer, it's totally fine. But, like they've left it on my face like at the um, facial place. 
They left it on my face, like uh, kind of like a moisturizer almost, and it did fine for the rest of the day. It didn't break out my face or anything. I've also used it and mixed it with my facial wash. All the time I do that, if I don't have time to, of course, leave it on my face, I'll do that every morning. Um, I'll add just a little, little, little bit of it to my facial wash and just use it, and that actually helps uh, as well get that hydration in your face. All right. So let's go to the next one here. All right, this one is the Comfort Zone uh, Sublime Cream. Let's see, I don't think I had the video for that one. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I just realized that I put that on the listing, but I didn't grab those videos. And in fact, I grabbed the wrong video. I wanted to show you guys the, um, the sunscreen that I use. To see the sunscreen as well as the rest of those videos that I forgot to add to this uh, product lineup, go and click the link below that's under my name that says storefront and you're going to be able to find all the rest of those under the um, section that says skincare uh, or personal care. You're going to be able to find all the uh, information on all the other stuff that I recommend for your face. All right, so the next thing is the Tide to Go. And then we're gonna do the Moon Teeth Whitening, the Dude Wipes, we've got the Charcoal uh, Toothpaste, the Mixed Scented um, Wipes, the Neutrogena, and then we've got some hair products. I'm just double checking what we've got left. I'm actually gonna take a little like minute break and get some water, so I will be right back. Uh, I'm just gonna put here, be right back. I be right back and uh, give me two minutes. I'm just going to run to the other room and grab some water. Okay. I ran out of water here. <laughs> All right. All right. Be right back, guys. I'm going to put up this be right back screen. If it's going to show, is it going to show? It's saying it's showing, but it's not showing. Okay. Well, maybe I won't put it up. Oh, it's because I have a new screen set up. Let's see. I don't know. It's not working, but you know, I'll be right back and I will put on, well, I won't put on the next thing. Okay. Give me one second. I will literally be right back. I'm just going to grab some water. Okay, guys, I am back. I can sneeze through all my stuff over here. Oh, I got to sneeze. <coughs> ah, okay. So, got some water, and I grabbed the other product that I was missing. All right, so we'll go back to these products real fast, and then we will go on to the Tide to Go. So, sorry if you guys were... Actually, let's, let's do the Tide to Go, and then we'll go back to these two products. How about that? Because we're already on this one. 
All right, so I'm gonna show you the Tide to Go and how amazing it actually works. Like seriously, how amazing this thing actually works. Okay, so let me find the before and after video. I've got one that I applied it to. Okay, here's the before. Okay, let me go back to the actual beginning of it. All right, so, oh, you can't see it there, hold on. <laughs> it's because the screen's too far down. Okay, here we go. All right, you see that? You see all those little stains? Okay, so then I went ahead and shook up the Tide to Go pen and I applied it. You just apply it by pressing it down. So you shake it up and then you just press it down and it's gonna be wet for a little bit, but only like three minutes, so barely anything at all. And then you just let that set on there. You can see I was blowing on it. Don't ask me why. <laughs> it doesn't work. It, you, you need like three minutes and it will dry. Like literally this is a couple minutes later. Like I did some, a couple other videos and then I went ahead and did this video. And look, gone. Like literally, like three minutes later, absolutely gone. And I had another little spot on my other sleeve and it's gone too. Love it, recommend it, definitely check that out. They do come a three pack so you can give one away for a friend or you can keep one in the car, keep one in your purse, keep one in your house. So you have enough for everywhere that you're gonna need those. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I sneeze. Thank you. Yeah, I love that product. Uh, it, it's the only one that actually works. I've had other stain removers, uh, like little wipe ones, and they don't work as well. That one's my absolute favorite. All right, so now we've got the Moon Teeth Whitening. Oh, actually, I was going to show you what these things look like real fast. So let's go back to the Comfort Zone, uh, the Sublime Cream, and the... Um, Ageless by Image uh, Hydraulic Filler. So we've got first we got the Sublime Cream. This stuff is super smooth, and since my face is washed, I'm actually I will put it on for you guys. Actually, let's do. Technically, you're supposed to do the other one first, <laughs> so I won't put it on just yet. But that's what it looks like. It's like really, really creamy, and it's very easy to apply. I'll apply this one in a second. Let me go to the next one because this one's technically supposed to go on first so we will do them in order all right so this is the image ageless uh hydraulic filler and this is like um it fills in or what how should i say it? it fills in the deep crevices in your face like the facial lines of course as we age our skin needs better care especially in the sun and you just put literally like two drops on your hands and just rub it in your face. You can also use it on your hands because your hands are also super sensitive to sun and damage. So I always put it on my, my hands and you can put it on your neck too. I usually do it on my neck too. So of course if you're gonna do your neck, you're probably gonna need another drop or two. Uh, but the whole bottle lasts about uh, two to three months, depending of course if you use it during the day as much as you use it at night. But still, really good quality products here that I highly recommend. And it does hydrate really fast. As well as there's no sticky residue. So I also have the Neutrogena line, the Hydro Boost, which leaves like a sticky residue. And also, the I actually used it earlier, the, um, the Hydro Boost by, ne by Neutrogena. And it actually stung my face a little. It, it actually did like, um, like I actually felt it. Like this doesn't sting my face at all and it literally absorbed super nice into my skin and it actually is like a really nice um, feeling. Like I don't feel nothing on my skin right now. So you can even hear my hands. Like there is no residue <laughs> at all. It literally absorbed right into my skin and it made it feel like baby soft, you can say. It really feels like baby soft. Highly recommend this. All right, so the next one is it good on grease? 
the Tide Pens of, I don't know if I've ever used it on grease. I've used it on so many stains because obviously when you're wearing a solid color, like, and I wear a lot of solid colors, uh, you do get stuff on you. Uh, so I would give it a try uh, on grease. I'm not really sure. Um, I would say possibly. Let me look at the pen. It probably says it on the pen if it actually does do anything on grease. Let's see. We're talking about the inst we just went over the instant stain remover. It doesn't actually say on the pen. So what I would recommend, Evans, is click on the link and open it up into the other window and see if it actually says anything about grease. Okay. They usually have like a breakdown of the different things that it's good on and what it's not good on. Uh, so definitely check out the page. All right. So we're going to, um, yeah, I knew you were talking about the Tide Pens. <laughs> I know we're, we're kind of in between right now. All right. So again, highly recommend this. I just put it on my face guys. If you're just tuning in and it literally absorbed in my skin and it feels so nice, literally really nice. And there's no residue like the um, Neutrogena Hydro Boost has like a residue and a sticky feeling to it, which this doesn't. It's so much of an improvement to any other brand I've ever had, like including the Neutrogena. And I really like Neutrogena too. It's one of my favorite uh, cosmetic brands that you can buy in the store, but this is no comparable. Like seriously, this is no comparable. This really works and it's super smooth on your face. And no, it doesn't burn. It doesn't have sticky residue. There's no greasy feel. Highly recommend this. All right. So on this one, this is a sublime cream. This is the repumping and firming. So this is the more like deeper line moisturizing stuff. So for those really deep lines or fine lines, this one is a for um, repumping and firming. Okay. So this is what goes next. This. So you just put a little bit on, like a little, you don't have to use a lot and you can kind of spread it out a little. And again, leave some for your hands too, cause your hands get just as much damage as the rest of your face. Cause it gets, uh, you know, you, you know, they're, they're out like, unless you're wearing gloves, you know, <laughs> they get a lot of exposure to damage from the sun. Okay. So make sure you do take care of your hands really well or the skin on your hands really well. And then you just rub this in. I can't focus on me because I keep moving. <laughs> it's like, I see something. I'm talking about my camera. All right. And then you just rub this all over and then rub it on your neck. And you can even rub it through here. Because again, a lot of sun damage usually right through there too. And it's already absorbed in my skin. Like... There's no greasy feel. There's no residue feeling. Highly recommend this set. It smells good. I said, all done. Now I'm already done for the evening. <laughs> like that's all I had to do because I already cleaned my face. So there you go, guys. All right. <laughs> that was the uh, Sublime Skin Cream, the Repumping, Firming, and Moisturizing. Highly recommend this one. Okay. All right. So let's go over to the next item here on the list. Uh, we did a, the, the, the Tide already, so we'll just pull up the whitening, uh, Moon Whitening uh, Pen. Okay, so I really like this whitening pen. Now it does have some bad reviews on the page just because obviously people don't know how to use it correctly. <laughs> that's, that's my take on it. I don't know, I haven't really read the, I don't search out bad reviews. I like trying stuff myself and I actually picked up this product before I found it on Amazon. Uh, but I will tell you why I love it and the things to be aware of, okay? Because there is a little bit of learning curve on here and I'll tell you what it is here in a second. Let me pull up the video first. All right, so let's see. Oh, that's the after. All right, I gotta do the before first before I do the after. Okay, so here it is, guys. This is what it what it looks like it's a, a pen and i'm showing you that usually my my little canine teeth will get a little darker just because i do drink coffee and i drink tea i don't drink it every day or my teeth would definitely be darker all all along uh but i do make sure that i get those two canines that always are susceptible to 
uh, getting a little bit some more staining in the rest of my teeth. But you just paint it right on. You click the little button, get the liquid out, and then you paint it on. Now, I do recommend you, you wash off the brush or you rinse it off at least every few days. Uh, during this video, of course, I didn't run to the bathroom and do that, but I just put the cap back on. Uh, but you get the idea. So you just go ahead and leave that on for a bit. And then I'm going to show you what happens. And this is the part you've got to be mindful about. All right, so let's see. And we'll, you'll see why. <laughs> All right, so, and I'll tell you why. Okay, so this is what happens. It actually bubbles up in your mouth. Okay, so I am actually looking at the mirror, waiting for this stuff to bubble up my mouth. See the bubbles? <laughs> Hold on, let me try to move it, move it down a bit more. All right, let me see if I can go back. Okay, you see the bubbles? So it is made with a high quality peroxide. It's like a gel peroxide, which if you ever use peroxide, you know it bubbles on any infections, right? So what it's doing is killing the germs in between your teeth, which is astounding. I absolutely love this product. So I highly recommend using it for that as well, not just for the teeth whitening. Because peroxide does kill germs in your mouth. It's the number one active ingredient in most mouthwashes. And you can literally just use uh, peroxide as a mouthwash. You don't have to buy that expensive mouthwash. You can literally just buy peroxide. In fact, that's what I do. I buy peroxide and just gargle that. <laughs> so uh, definitely you can do that. Uh, just don't swallow it. It is poisonous. Uh, make sure you do rinse your mouth too. So this is like a high quality peroxide in like a gel. And so you have to be mindful. Don't do this like when you're about to meet somebody or like step into a restaurant or out of a restaurant. Make sure you do do this where you can go spit the stuff out <laughs> like in your bathroom would be ideal. And then you can quickly rinse out your mouth too. You don't have to rinse out your mouth. It's just a little bit of peroxide, but you don't want to be swallowing this stuff. So you do want to actually spit it out because it will foam up a lot and you'll be surprised how much it will foam up. Uh, but it's like super fast. You don't have to wait too long. It was literally a few seconds between those two videos that I just showed you. And the results are amazing, even in a short time span. Did you see how, let's see, I'll even show you the last screen again of how um, yellow my teeth were. Now they weren't too, too yellow because I did uh, pay quite a bit to get my teeth whitened uh, the beginning of last year or the year before. I'm not really sure. It wasn't definitely for a number of months, like maybe like nine months ago or so <laughs> at least. Uh, so it's been a while, but you have to keep going back and getting your teeth whitened consistently because they can only do so many uh, like sessions at a time uh, or you know, damage your teeth. So I only go for 30 minutes at a time and it costs a lot. It cost me $99 every time to get my teeth whitened one shade and there's like 16 shades. So, you know, it's a lot. And it's basically a gel that you put on your teeth and you sit under a light and, and you wear these goggles and stuff. It's a procedure. So if you get this a product, which I'm showing you here, this is going to take it up a down a shade. So see how it's like a little bit tinted there? You see a little bit of like this yellowish tint? Well, this let's see what it looks like after um, the product. I believe this one's the after one, so we're gonna pull this one up. So this is after. Okay, you see it's not as yellow, all right? All right, and that's just in one session, okay? So if you use this consistently, you don't have to use it every day. I don't use mine every day. I only use it every now and then when I think about using it. <laughs> you know, where I'm more like, man, I, that one's looking a little bit yellow there. You know, let me go get out my little, um, my little whitener pen and do, and do a whitening. Uh, but it does work. Uh, of course, it's only going to be like a minor difference each time that you do it. Because again, just like when you get professional services done, they can't technically wet your teeth all the way from like terribly dark shade to certain, you know, certain light shade. Now there is a new company that says they can whiten it for a lot better. I guess their system's a little different. I haven't tried that company out, but of course now my teeth are a lot whiter than they used to be uh, since I was getting so many procedures over like 
a time of like eight months. Uh, again, this was like nine months ago you know, when I stopped going. So they still stayed white because I do use this product, you know, and it, it, it's, it's more for in between your more embraceive uh, procedure of getting your teeth whitened. That's what the way I see it. Unless you're going to literally use it like every day and take it down shade by shade over time. But that's up to you. All right, so that's that product. All right, so the next one is the Dude Wipes. And I've got a couple of these right beside me because I was refilling uh, my little overnight to-go bag thing. Oh, I'm dropping stuff. Okay, so I've got a little to-go bag. Actually, this one's my daughter's. I forgot to bring mine up. <laughs> that's fine. I'll, I'll see what she's got in hers. Uh, she didn't take hers on the trip to grandma's <laughs> I don't know why I think she forgot that was uh in this container when we filled it up but I'll show you everything that's in it and so we've got the dude wipes which are right here now these are pretty big they're like this big and of course they're for going to the bathroom they are disposable in the toilet so you just flush it down there uh, I did buy, or I do have, I should say, the larger packs too, like the ones that are the ones that you would use in your, your everyday use, like your home. I recommend those as well, of course, just to stay more hygienic and clean, right? So you know what I mean. We all have those moments in the bathroom. Uh, so I do recommend those, but they do come in the fragrance-free or they come in with mints. And it smells like mint, and it also is tingly. I don't know if you like your butt to feel tingly, but it's an option. I don't particularly do, so I get the the un um, the ones that are just the fragrance free. Okay, again, they do come in the individual ones, so you can take these to go, especially when you're traveling or out. You can wipe down the toilet with these, or you can use them on yourself uh, and, and make sure that you don't smell you know so highly recommend you can flush them down the toilet uh and you'll always have some way to stay clean all right <laughs> evans is laughing at me all right so let's go to the next one i think you've got the point of that i really like them and they're like i said their square is really big too uh so great for like toddlers as well definitely get for toddlers all right so we've got also uh the Hello Active charcoal tablets. Oh, I forgot to bring my bag. My bag is the one that has it in it. So I won't be able to show you those tonight. So definitely click on the link, check those out. They're really cool. You just uh, chew them up in your mouth and it basically comes a paste. It's kind of chalky. It's like a chalky paste, but it's fine. <laughs> and you can brush your teeth with it. Uh, those are actually on sale right now too. So you can check those out. All right. So the next thing I'm going to skip right to is the hand wipes okay so these hand wipes are absolutely amazing there's the peppermint here is the grapefruit and i should have some lavender left yep here's some lavender okay uh these things are also really big they're very big squares like this and you can use them on your face you can use them on your hands they kill germs they're antibacterial so no more of those gel things i absolutely hate I don't have to use the gel that the store provides me like when I'm going into stores and I want to keep my hands clean or getting ready to eat dinner or just coming you know home from dinner I can just go ahead and open up one of these and clean off my hands and I absolutely I absolutely love these things they smell absolutely amazing like the the scent on each of these are so good uh, I highly recommend you guys check these out and pick up a pack because they are really, really, really nice. And I, I keep these in my purse as well. So I keep uh, at least two in my purse so I can uh, wipe my hands uh, when I'm uh, going out to eat. I was laughing about the feeling of the mint. Oh, the mint. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, yeah. It was a surprise because I accidentally bought the mint ones. My leg is a dream. Uh, so I actually bought the mint ones. Um, and I, it's not mint flavor, right? It's mint, it's mint scented. And I'm like, yeah, but mint, you know what mint does? It makes it, <laughs> if you get mint one of these, then it's going to be tingly. And do you want to be tingly down there? I don't know about you, but it was a weird feeling. <laughs> I accidentally bought the mint ones. But you could try it. You might like the mint tingly feeling. <laughs> So, all right, the next one is the Neutrogena, and this is the makeup remover. 
All right, Neutrogena makeup remover. Do I have any? Oh, you know what? I think that it's because I grabbed the wrong bag. I grabbed my daughter's bag um, and hers doesn't have makeup remover because she doesn't wear makeup because I'm talking about my younger daughter. Uh, so uh, to check out the Neutrogena ones, you can just click on the link. It'll open up in a new window and you can find all the details on there. They do have the scented and the non-scented. And I absolutely love these for everyday use too because I don't really wear too much makeup. It's perfect for me because I can keep them in my, um, in my bathroom. I have a little container and I just fill it up. And they're not going to like... Um, like uh, what is it dry out because with the packs I was finding that they were drying out because I wasn't using them every day and sealing them up correctly <laughs> so you can get the packs too which if you get the packs get the lavender because I absolutely love the lavender one on the packs but you can check that out it's called calming lavender and oh it smells amazing again I love lavender so <laughs> you know everything I'm going to recommend in lavender but you can check out the link uh, on the facial wipes uh you know just by clicking that and opening it to a new window they don't have the lavender in the individual packs I have looked and searched and not just Amazon other places like their actual website they do not sell an individually wrapped lavender um scented one which is unfortunate and i'll have to write the company about it <laughs> but i'll let you know if there's any changes so i got you cry laughing that's funny <laughs> i'm the mint yeah that's funny that's a good thing oh yeah yeah i was definitely surprised i was like what the heck <laughs> I do uh, yeah and then I noticed it was a mint one I was like yeah I didn't know there was a mint one but highly recommend the Neutrogena uh, facial uh, wipes they like said I love it for every day but also for traveling of course because we got to remove our makeup <laughs> all right so then we got the next thing here here let me put this back to the side uh, the next thing here we've got is this amazing hair dryer I love the compatibility of like how compact this thing is I'm going to pull up the video on it so you guys can see how compact it is. All right, here we go. It also comes with a carrying case, which don't ask me where I put the carrying case. <laughs> I thought I knew where I put it, and apparently I didn't put it there. Um, now that I think about it, I think I might know where I put it. I've got a lower drawer I hardly use in my bathroom. It's probably in there. <laughs> so you can see this is when I have my hair extensions in. They're currently taking a break. I... I didn't get tired of them. It was really, they were just kind of slipping out of my hair. I don't know if I had something on my hair the day that I got them put in, but they were literally falling out of my hair. So I had to take them all out. Uh, but I haven't put them back in yet. I don't want to pay all the money to get the lady to put them back in because this is the second time I went to her uh, over the last couple of months and had the problem of her putting them in weird positions where they were seeable <laughs> and also uh, them slipping out like prematurely like within the first week and that's rare you usually can keep them in for six weeks and I had them all in the whole year up until like I said just just a little while ago I took them out sometimes I miss them but other times it's so nice not having them in, so I don't want to actually deal with really long hair. Uh, so it's actually not bad, like clean, you know, like washing your hair and stuff with extensions. You get used to it. So you see how nice this dryer is. I absolutely love this thing. It's so fast. And you can take off the, the attachment at the end too. You don't have to leave it on. I just love leaving it on. And I probably dry my hair different than you guys dry it, but <laughs> this is, this is, I just dry it just however. I do not use a brush in it or anything. I literally just do this. I hate when the, the people at the salon blow dry my hair. I feel like it's ripping my hair. I don't know about you guys, but they use that really bristly brush that's round. And I swear that thing rips my hair. Because I never had as much fringes. Like, I have these little tiny pieces now. I've never had that. I've never had these little... See how they're little so small? These little tiny pieces? I've only started getting those this year. And like I said, I swear it's because they use that harsh bristle brush on my hair when I go to the salon. And it rips my hair. I know it does. 
because my hair is so fine you gotta use a fine tooth comb and literally like brush it through or use a really nice quality brush like this one that i'm showing you in this video which i don't know if they sell this one on amazon i'll look for it uh the other brush that i have that i recommend to you guys they do sell on amazon because i bought it through amazon you can find that in the storefront i love that brush too but for like quickly just brushing through my hair to detangle it i love this one because it has a much wider um much wider, wider bristles so it doesn't get tangled in my hair even though the other brush is a detangler too it's just sometimes my hair is so fine that it still gets stuck <laughs> so highly recommend this uh, hair dryer you see i just kind of brush it out and then i just blow dry it again but see how fast it is like my hair is already like somewhat dry on that side now it does have a cool feature too so you just press the button uh on the top of that uh you'll see where my hand is there's a button right there you just press that and it'll just convert over to cold air which is really nice to close the hair follicles uh, so it doesn't um, not as susceptible to damage as well as reduces your chances of having split ends and it also has a couple different speeds it's got low medium and high on there all right so that is it with the hair dryer let's move on to the next one let's see think about the look on your face <laughs> oh yeah uh, your hair looks good natural thank you yeah it's a little bit longer finally the only reason i actually started wearing extensions is because i went to the hair salon this is why i don't like going to the hair salon honestly is because i went to the hair salon and i got these like highlights you can still see that i've got some highlights um and it was like two years ago and the lady was like i'm going to layer your hair and at that time my hair was like down to here i mean it was long it was down to here and it was solid black okay because i've got i mean you might as well say it's black my hair is very very dark brown it's the darkest brown you can possibly have before it's black <laughs> and so i had really really long like dark black hair and she's like well i'm gonna put some layers in it and kind of like um you know where it's not all one length there and i was like okay that's fine you know I, i'm okay with that i need something different and she chopped it literally up to my chin like literally i was just like you gotta be kidding me like she went a little too crazy like scissor crazy and i literally ended up with short hair like the longest my hair was was this length i was like what like i had it all the way down to here and so i was like never ever again <laughs> am i going to the salon like i am not recommending it i'm never coming back here uh so yeah it took me it took me almost three years to grow this i mean this is three years of length even though i had of course over the last two years i've had to chop off like four inches but it is slowly getting some life back but still there's still a lot of damage because uh, the lady that i went to to redo my highlights she actually over bleached it because again i have really dark natural hair and she over bleached it so when you over bleach your hair of course you get a lot more damage and so hence my hair is really really fine now it's really thin uh whereas my hair before i started going back to the salon was actually a lot thicker and so that's why you see me actually wear it a lot on one side uh just to give it the illusion that it actually is a little bit thicker <laughs> but but it actually doesn't look too bad separated yeah i was i was not happy i literally pet spent spent a lot of money at that salon too so i was i was like not doing that again this is why i hardly ever go to the salon like the only way like the lady i go to now she does my extensions and she like touches up my roots because of course i've got some little bit of white that comes through now i don't i don't have solid white hair my natural hair color is this so she matches my natural hair color but she just does the very roots of it that of course do turn uh, as you get older <laughs> so um but i have more of a streak like i'll just get like these random little streaks of white and so she takes care of that but that's like every six to eight weeks or so but she doesn't she's not allowed to cut my hair i told her she's not allowed to cut my hair no, only i cut my hair <laughs> i'm the only one that's allowed to cut my hair <laughs> i i do not let anybody cut my hair <laughs> i never go i just yeah 
it's it's a farce guys your hair grows from the roots you know don't be going to get your hair trimmed every so many months to get the dead ends off your hair is literally dead as it comes well it's not dead it's really alive but you know it comes out of your your head to grow not the bottom and and i found an interesting fact too like learning all this over the last uh three years is that your hair only naturally grows like statistics say like actual like reports say your hair only grows on a month-to-month -month basis uh like two centimeters to like um a third of an inch or something it's like this much so if you're cutting off that much every month your hair is never going to grow any longer, like, you know, unless you're just lucky, you know, you're one of those people that your hair just naturally grows a little bit more than like two centimeters to like four centimeters a month, then you might have a little bit. And then you go to the wrong hairstylist or that day they get a little scissor happy and cut a little bit more than they usually do then you're back at square one and so that's what was happening like for like a whole year i kept going back and i was just like why can i never have long hair i had long hair for like tons of years and now i have short hair and so that's when i started getting extensions i don't let anybody cut my hair so, <laughs> all right anyhow that was story time hope you guys enjoyed that all right so let's go over to uh the hot tools um this is a curling iron i'm gonna actually pull it up on the side screen because i have this as a review already on my page uh so if you actually are a follower you can go to my storefront and see this review on the page under videos uh but i will show you where it's at so let me pull it up here Okay, so here we're on the page. We are under the video reviews on the page that says that's uh, my page are on Amazon, and you can see all the reviews here that I have. I've got the uh, the speed the dryer. I've got the three V waiver, which I think they're still out of stock on that. We've got the Hot Tools uh, Pro Iconic uh, Hot Iron, which we're going to look at that in a second. We've also got my favorite of all time uh, hairspray which i should have did the review on that tonight too which a lot of these i will you know do um you know in the coming like next few days let's see if we can find the curling iron i don't know if the curling iron did make it up on this upload i have oh here we go yeah i was gonna say i don't know why not because i did it at the same time <laughs> all right so here we go this is the um curling iron let me take that off of there so you can see it all right, so this is in my bathroom, and I'm attempting to use the curling iron. I am still not a pro at curling irons at all, so you probably want to watch a couple YouTube videos on, like, how to effectively use curling irons, but um, I give it my best. <laughs> all right, so we, I got my long extensions in here, so you're going to be able to see, you know, how I attempt to use it. Uh, so you kind of take it all the way to the end and then you uh, curl it up. But again, I am still, like I don't curl my hair usually. I love the product because every now and then I will curl my hair. But again, it's not something that I normally do with my hair. Um, but it does really, really, really well. I like this one is, I believe the one inch barrel. They have so many different shapes of barrels, uh, sizes, not shapes sizes they have it all the way down to like a 1.4 barrel all the way up to a two inch barrel so choose the one or ones that you want i love the color on this it is gorgeous it is this gold color you can see i always have end up with this little crimp at the end don't ask me how like it's because of the actual um curling iron i think i might have to try a curling iron where i just kind of wrap my hair around it i haven't tried those yet <laughs> but i love my curling iron it does work really well and i love the barrel on it and the color is amazing it does have uh the heat on it where you can adjust the heat uh, you also have a little stand at the bottom so it won't burn your countertop if you are worried about that you have that the end of it actually rotates so the the power cord actually rotates so it keeps it really easy to maneuver uh, in your um, hand as you're curling your hair and so you can see I'm showing you where the dial is on there on um, where to adjust the temperature
And that's the on off, I believe. I can't remember what that button's for, but it looks like the on off button. And see, look at how this thing moves around. And you can find this video in the storefront. So in the storefront right now, uh, under videos, you can find this. Okay, so let's uh, fast forward this and see if I actually, nope, I didn't do any more with my hair. <laughs> I, was, I was looking to see if I did my whole hair, but I didn't. All right, there's a couple videos in the previous lives where I have done my whole hair, and you can check those out under the live stream tab under my storefront. Okay. Let's look at the other ones. What else we got here? All right, the next one is, thank you, Evans. Yeah, my, my hair does not grow fast at all. <laughs> like, that's why I can't, I can't like trust anybody to cut it because if they cut like an inch or two off, then I'm already set back like four months. <laughs> Like, I just started using green drink though. My green juicer I've been using every day. So we'll see if it actually does change anything. So far, nothing. <laughs> I still feel the same, but it's only been like four days. So maybe a little bit longer. Maybe it's been like, well, actually it's been, it's been almost a week. All right, so we've got, uh, the next one is hot, the hot tools. Now this is actually what I use to curl my hair. <laughs> All right, and you'll see it here how I use it. Uh, let's see if I have the, the newer video for this. Um, I've got like a couple of different videos I've done over the last um, two months with these products because I was doing a lot of um, like in my bathroom type getting get ready with me uh, videos. Let's see. So you can find those in the live stream. All right. It doesn't look like I have a newer video of this, so I'll just pull up. Well, technically they're all new. <laughs> I mean, they're all been they've all been shot in uh, less than 30 days ago, so you know, you've got super new videos anyhow. All right. Let's see. I have it. I just saw it. Where to go? Uh oh, there it is. All right. So it's right here in the video section. Okay. Oh, shoot. I'm going to like my own video. There we go. <laughs> all right I don't know if that does anything if you guys actually go in there and like all my videos I don't know if it shows to more people or what there is no statistics on that so <laughs> I don't even get a notification if anybody likes anything all right so we've got this is the hot tools uh, this is the flat iron but I also use it to curl my hair and I think in this video I do one of them uh, so I actually use this product literally every day. I use it this morning, but you can probably hardly tell now because I don't use a really like um, heavy set, a uh, heavy set uh, hairspray in my hair. I use a really lightweight one, so you know it doesn't really hold as much. Of course, I do respray my hair if I need it, if I'm gonna like go out or something. I'm showing you in this video that it's not hot at the bottom. It sure hot at the top though. Do not do that at the top of it. You will burn your hand. But you can easily grip it on the bottom. There's enough room to like actually wrap your hand around it if you want. I love the fact that it does have um, the feature that you can actually lock it. And I gotta remember, let me write this down, but my mom wanted me to send her the link on this because when we went out of town, she had a really old one that I told her she had to throw away <laughs> and I told her that I sent her the link to this and I haven't yet because I've forgotten all about that all right so I'm gonna say send mom link and I've got another uh, one of the other products in this video that she wanted to also purchase so I want to send her that too all right I'll just send her my storefront link so if she sees anything else that she wanted she doesn't, she's not too tech savvy. So. But look at how nice that actually straightens your hair. I absolutely love this product. And it gets rid of that frizz, okay? So even though I have naturally straight hair, uh, if I don't want that frizz, like right now I got a little bit of it. You see these little flyaways. If I actually put did this in my hair, Right now, it would be totally flat. 
actually gotta turn up the light too because I've noticed it's actually pretty dark in my studio right now. Oh, actually it got disconnected when I was fooling around with the settings earlier. That's okay. We won't worry about it. It's not too dark. <laughs> At least you guys can still see me. All right, so as you see on this video, you can actually uh, see the temperature of the um, of the iron as well, the flat iron. I want to show you like how nice this thing leaves your hair. You saw how puffy it was before, and now look how straight it is. And just because I'm running my hands through my hair in this video, it is hot, by the way. <laughs> you might want to wear that glove that it comes with, which I don't remember if mine came with a glove. But it shows that it comes with a glove now, so you get a glove. So be mindful of your hand because it, it is pretty hot when you're running your hands through it. So you might want to put it on a little bit lower temperature. Uh, that uh, lower temperature would be like 325 uh, to 350. I think at the time I did, I don't know if it's this video or another video, I had it on like 4 something, like 415. I didn't realize it. I must have accidentally hit it in the video. And then I was like, man, my hair is super hot. I was like burning my hand. <laughs> I was like, let me check the temperature on this thing. I was like, oh, that's why, because I had it up too high. So, but I usually put the heat spray in my hair. Uh, I haven't found a good one here on Amazon. The one that I do recommend, they are out of stock all the time on Amazon. So whoever their manufacturer is uh, that actually distributes that on Amazon actually, I guess, doesn't supply it all the time. See this? So that's how I actually do curl my hair. <laughs> so that's what I did this morning. But again, I've kind of lost a lot of it. Just because over, over the day, it kind of just like weighs down, right? So you can see my extension right there. Like I said, I had to take those things out. They were just way too noticeable. She just didn't put them in my hair. Like she normally puts them in the hair where it's a lot better. At least the lady that had it done it before when I was out of town, she did a really good job. Like you couldn't see any of them. But... but. The brighter ones are actually supposed to go further down. <laughs> so she messed up. But. but you see how the um, it, it curls? Like I love the curls on this, like the waves. And you'll see here in the next uh, video or photo that I have that where I've done my longer hair with all the waves in it. And it looks really nice. Okay. So that is it for that one. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> wrong side of the screen. All right, let's get to the next product here. Let's see. What do we got next? Oh, uh, the next one is the, um, the hairbrush. Now, I don't know. Let's see. Was that on the same page? Let me just double check. So let's see. It's not on the same page. Uh, the hairbrush. It should be because I did, again, I did it on the same time. It might not be, though, because some of the things I didn't uh, put on the review page yet. So you'll see that uh, hopefully by tomorrow. It's getting a little bit late today. So, oh, here we go. It is on here. So I won't be doing it tonight because it's a little bit past time. And the only reason why we're out so late tonight or doing this so late tonight is because I had some some problems with my internet earlier. I think I had a lot of interference. So we got it all fixed up. Well, we thought we did, and then we had to redo it. <laughs> so this is the hairbrush. This is the Con Air hairbrush. I love the fact that it's so wide that it literally takes me like seconds to brush my hair. <laughs> and when you have ultra long hair like this, uh, not not right that I have right now, but when I wear my extensions, um, you need to brush your hair multiple times a day. I usually brush it at least three times a day, one in the morning, one at night, and then one, um, you know, when I when I go to the bathroom or do something else. 
Uh, sometimes I brush it more than that. It depends, you know, how active I am. And if I braid it, then I'll be fine. But if I don't braid it, obviously it does start getting tangled again. <laughs> All right. Again, when you have long straight hair, it does get tangly. So you do have to keep it brushed. But it's really no big deal when you have a really nice brush like this. It doesn't take forever. It literally takes like a minute, two minutes. We'll see. Let's see, how long was this video? Uh, I think it was one minute. So it does have like a detangler element to it, like, but it's for like ultra tangly hair. I have to use that other brush that you saw in the other video that has much wider gaps in it. For like average, like, just every day, like, oh, it's just slightly tangled, then you can use that brush. But if it's super tangly, <laughs> then we got the cookie video. All right, so we're not doing cookies right now, but it popped up. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna, let's take that down before people get confused and be like, wait, I thought I was watching a hairbrush thing and there's cookies. Uh, but I do highly recommend the brush. It's a really nice brush and it's 10% off tonight too. Okay, so the next thing we've got is the Hamilton Beach. This is the smooth edge. Um, the smooth edge can opener. I'm just pulling up the video for you. Oh, I think I just like, <laughs> I closed it. Oh, that's okay. We'll open it up again. All right. So let's see. I've got it right here. Sometimes it's hard for me to see on the little screen. Okay. So here it is right here. And I'm going to show you on this video how easy it is to get this cap off. We're gonna actually fast forward it a little bit because we've been like going through a lot here. So on this, you, it's actually really safe because the blade is really in there and you would really have to like put your finger in it to really get hurt. Uh, so you've got it to line it up and then it just locks right on there. You see, I'm not even holding the can. The machine actually holds it on there. Even when I took my hand off, you have to unlock it by lifting up the back. And which is really cool about this is it's, it has a nice smooth edge. Of course, don't run your fingers across it and test it. You could still, you know, cut your fingers. It is uh, still somewhat sharp. There could be a little shard or something there. You just be mindful. You know, don't, don't willingly rub your hand against it. <laughs> but it is uh, much safer than an average um you know, can opener as well as it acts as a top. Did you see that? It acts as a top for the can so you can store that in the fridge. I would say no more than a day. All right, don't be leaving this stuff in the can. Like actually put it in a food storage container if you're gonna leave it in there for more than a day. But that is the product, super easy there. I love it, highly recommend. Definitely will not cut your hand open like other ones will, all right? And I know too many people that have cut their hands open with can openers, so. All right, so we've got the Breville Juice Fountain. I absolutely love my juice fountain. If you guys haven't been seeing my morning videos, make sure that you go ahead and follow. I've been doing uh, morning videos every morning with this thing. I think tomorrow we're also doing another video again with it because uh, I got to make my juice anyways. <laughs> so this is uh, what I have here on this video is the product that we have below. It does also come in um, a different uh, style. You can get it with a plastic instead of the metal base, like I'm showing you on here. Now, it was a little bit hard for me to press it down, and that's only because I loaded it up with apples. Don't do that. Like, just do one apple at a time. <laughs> you know, apples are like one of the harder ones to actually push down, obviously, if you have a bunch in the tube. So just do one at a time. You see, look, the celery was super smooth. <laughs> you know, just put a couple, uh, just put a couple sprigs in, you know. Uh, Kale, super easy. Just put a couple sprigs in, press down. Look at how much juice comes out of this stuff. I'm, I'm always amazed, like, how much actual liquid is in this. <laughs> like, I was like, wow, I never knew there was so much liquid in it. You know. So I made two juices today. I made one this morning, and I made one uh, this evening. 
In fact, tomorrow I'm going to have to buy more ingredients because I am pretty much out of celery. I've got a little bit for my juice in the morning. Now you saw that, that uh, parsley didn't really get down there, so I had to add a carrot <laughs> to press it down the tube. And it made quite a bit. Now, if you saw the video this morning, uh, you would have seen how fast it is to actually dissemble this and assemble it. So I did the whole process for you this morning. So you can watch that previous live. If you become a follower, you have access to all the lives. Uh, even if you're not a follower, you do. You just uh, go to the storefront tab and you can see all the previous lives where I uh, did uh, th this juicer um, review, unboxing, putting it together, figuring it out for the first time, as well as this morning's video where I actually showed you how fast it is to clean. It is super fast to clean. Look at that foamy stuff. That is so good. It's so good. That looks so delicious. I actually want to go make one now. <laughs> I'm like, but no. I, I got to save some ingredients for tomorrow morning because I only have enough to make one more with my celery, and I always have celery in it. So... You know, I'm going to have to buy more celery tomorrow. All right. So we're going to take that down. Absolutely love this thing. It is like my new favorite thing of all time. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to mute you because it looks like you're having too much fun in the comments. <laughs> and not good fun. All right. So we're going to go over to uh, the Kitchen A Classic series. All right, let's see. Kitchen A Classic Series. Okay, this is the Kitchen A Classic Series. Uh, in this video, I'm not really making anything with it. I really just wanted to show, oops, <laughs> I hit the button twice. Okay, so I ended it. Oh, look, now I'm trying to do it with my mouse. That is not going to work. I actually have to pull it up again. Hold on. Let me pull it up. Okay, there we go. What I wanted to do is actually adjust the screen. All right, that's what I was going for. I was actually adjusting the screen. Okay, so this is it. I've got the artisan one or the classic one, you can call it. It does have the lock on the one side and on the other side it has the different modes uh, which is essentially the speed of the um, the spinner and then you have the attachment on the top as well where you can buy additional attachments to do anything from making smoothies to ice cream to making noodles to grounding meat there's so many attachments you can get for this thing it's amazing. Oh, I did make something in this. I don't remember. Okay, this is the one I actually messed up on. <laughs> so you're seeing like where I made a mistake on this. Uh, so uh, the, the beans, I didn't test before I put them in this container. And I was wondering why they weren't like getting smushed up. Because beans, usually I make them fresh. I usually make them in my pressure cooker and they are really soft. And so they turn into hummus, like literally in minutes. And then you just put some tahini and some olive oil and that's it, you know, you're done. But that for whatever reason, these can, this can, it's store brand of uh, chickpeas, they are hard as a rock. And I was just like, what am I doing wrong? So it's actually not going to do anything in this video, uh, but you do get the a sense of, you know, how this machine works. It is an amazing machine and it's not the machine. It's literally the beans. <laughs> when I did this video, uh, they were literally rock hard. I literally had to smush them up with a fork and it still didn't work. They were still rock hard. So like, I was just like, okay, I'm done with this. I don't know what's wrong with these beans. Maybe they're bad or something. But um, yeah, that, so that was a fun little thing. I was trying to make you a full review video of like um, the products with the beans and then showing you how they mush down the beans. And I was like, why aren't they mushing? Because every other time I've made this, I've never had this issue. It's because I use canned beans and these, this particular canned beans, like I said, is hard to rock. So that's why. <laughs> Definitely not buying those again. I will stick back to making my own hummus with beans that are fresh and just make sure that I put them in the pressure cooker. But absolutely love my KitchenAid. I've had it for 16 years. Uh, so it's seen some life. It has been through a lot and it gets used pretty often. All right.
you can see the like all my previous lives where I've used it to make cookies, I've used it to make waffles, I've used it to make um, pancakes, uh, so all kinds of stuff. So you definitely uh, become a follower and check out the, those other videos by checking out the link that says storefront under my name. All right, so let's go ahead and close that one down. And the next one we've got, oh, I gotta make hummus on a live stream. I haven't made hummus in a while. That, that I definitely will. I'll definitely do that because I want to make the bread and I can show you guys how to make the bread too because I love making the bread. It's so good. <laughs> I love I love pita bread. So, all right. I will, I'll make note of your request, Evans. All right, hummus and, and I'll say hummus and pita bread. Hummus and pita bread live. It'll probably be this weekend. Maybe I can do it this weekend. I'll have a little bit more time then. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, the next one is the dress. The next one is my dress that I'm wearing, but instead of me trying to squeeze into my little area here, I've actually have a photo of it like, and a video so you guys can uh, see it. I've got a video that I shot um, the last time I wore it. Okay, so this is what the dress looks like. When I'm standing, obviously I'm sitting right now, <laughs> but it's the same dress. Okay. I love the length. It is uh, not to my knee, but of course it, it's pretty um, longer in, in the legs. It's super soft and obviously you can see I'm wearing it because I wear it all the time. It is literally one of my favorite dresses right now. I love the color. It is actually like this beautiful burgundy color and the sleeves are super stretchy. So I do stretch them a lot. Um, super comfy, highly recommend. All right, I also have it in black too. You've probably seen the black one. I've been wearing that a ton too. <laughs> so it is super warm as well. So it will keep you nice and warm for the winter and early spring too. And Valentine's Day is coming up. It's a perfect color for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Definitely you can check that out for Valentine's Day. I think I have another video too that I show it, but I think you got the point. You saw it. Oh, I can show you the black one because uh, I have the black one here, which also shows the leggings that are next. So here is the black one. So this is what it looks like, but I'm wearing the red. This is the black that you're seeing here. And the leggings are what's next. So I will switch the um, screen here and we'll pause it on the leggings. So oh, I did that again. All right, so let's go ahead and switch the screen here. These are the leggings that I was wearing in this video, okay? Oops, now I switched the screen again. All right, here we go. So same leggings here. I can't go back to that one. All right, so see, those are the leggings. Now, oh, you can't see it. I thought you could. All right, and the reason is because the screen's farther down. Let me go ahead and adjust it. Okay, so those are the leggings, okay? They are super comfortable. I was actually wearing them earlier, and I thought I brought them back in here. Let me see where I put them. Did I bring them back in here? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> I took them out. So super comfortable. They're lined with, like, a fleece lining. Uh, now, they are lighter color. I don't know if you noticed that, but they are lighter than my natural skin tone. So, obviously, it looks weird when I'm not wearing really tall boots because it's not my actual skin tone. But, honestly, I haven't heard anybody say anything or anything. But you can tell if you, like, actually put my hands next to it. Like, it's going to be a lot lighter. Uh, and it's like a pinkish color where my, my skin tone doesn't really have that that pink glow to it <laughs> but uh you can definitely use them and and uh it will keep you warm as well as they are really nice like i, I got a set of two because each of these come in a set of two they also have uh different colors i like these a lot because they actually don't um have the feet so they're footless Whereas the other ones they have, I have the black ones and the red ones too, which I absolutely love. And those are footed. And the reason I say I like the footless ones better, because I don't know about you guys, but they hurt my feet after a while. Like my feet feel like suffocated. <laughs> and so I like the footless uh, tights better, but they just don't have the footless tights uh, in the black or the red 
unfortunately, because I really do like the black and the red ones too. I wear those a lot as well. All right, so that is those. Super soft, super comfy, and they're fleece lined, so they're gonna keep you warm. All right, let's see, I think that's it tonight, guys. That is it. All right, so I hope you ha enjoyed this live. I know we had a late one tonight. Uh, I'll see you back tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., bright and early, so make sure you get your sleep. Come and make a green drink with me in the morning. Love to see you there, and I'll be sure that I get up. <laughs> Because I know I've had some really late nights these last couple nights. Uh, not only, you know, going through these videos for you guys, posting them to Amazon, but also just dealing with the new studio setup. So I've got a new studio setup. As you can see, this is a new space uh, that I'm in. And I'm in the same room, but I'm in a totally different space. And the reason why I made such a major drastic change is because I wanted to have that side of my office open to do more stand up um, presentations so that I can show off some clothes. I'm working on a deal where I partnered with a company here on Amazon that they sent me a bunch of clothes that I will be trying on. I handpicked these clothes out myself and um, I'm working on getting a deal for you guys that you get a discount during the live. So you'll get a discount during the live. So make sure that you do come to that live, but to get that notification, you have to be a follower. So be a follower. And when I get to those products in, I will let you guys know. Uh, they already have, um, or I already have uh, in my storefront, I already sectioned off a section that says women's clothing and I'm already adding some of the products that are going to be a part of that live in there. Now, some of them aren't sponsored. Uh, some of them are, but I'll let you guys know. Um, and of course, if you come to the live, you'll be able to get a discount on a lot of those. All right, guys, I hope you have an amazing, amazing night and I'll see you in the morning. Take care and thank you for watching. I'm going to pull up the um, end screen right now and uh, you'll have a couple more minutes or a couple more seconds to at least uh, check out everything below. We had a lot of stuff that we went over, so I'll let you do that. I'm also on other social media. My YouTube channel is getting revamped. I literally took all my videos down. I had over 200 videos on there. My, my traffic, of course, tanked because I literally did that like just before Christmas. But I promise you, it's gonna look so much more organized and better uh, once we start getting the new footage out on that, uh, which will be hopefully this week, by this weekend. I've got a brand new series coming out on my YouTube channel that is basically behind the scenes uh, of my life and all the struggles and strides <laughs> of the last year. I've basically been recording a whole series for you guys for the last year that I'm finally putting out uh, since it's been a whole year later. <laughs> all right, so everything you see on that, um, you know, you're gonna basically see, it's like a reality show almost, uh, but not really, it's like a vlog reality. It's not scripted at all. <laughs> it's really just like unscripted live, but uh, I try to give you guys some insight of my thought process and what's going on during different situations of the past year. And uh, I'm still working on it every, single week this week, you know, every single few days I make um, a, uh, a YouTube video. But again, you're going to start seeing my whole process of like the whole journey uh, last year, um, all the way up until like just a this morning like, as as it progressed so definitely make sure that you do follow the youtube channel i know there's nothing on it right now but i promise you it's getting revamped it is going to be really amazing once it does so you'll be like the first in the know on that uh, also my podcast i have um, amina.fm you can just type that on google and actually check that out it's on all networks amina.fm and on that, you're going to uh, hear some new new speakers. I'm relaunching it this year with new speakers globally. I've got my first uh, speaker lined up already. That's amazing. He's been in movies. He's, uh, done, he's done coaching to big celebrities. Uh, I'll be talking to him on how he got involved in that and his process of uh, what he does. And so that's going to be a really cool um, talk, which I'll give you the details on that talk uh, on 
the podcast, which I'll be launching here hopefully next week. Uh, so definitely make sure that you do subscribe to the podcast at amina.fm, uh, any channel. Uh, it's literally streamed everywhere, so you can be anywhere on that. But I did want to make you aware that on the YouTube channel, I did have them all live. So all of my podcasts are streamed live at the same time. So all the footage gets saved on my YouTube channel. But since I am revamping my YouTube, it's actually giving me a separate channel. But you're going to be able to see that um, when the channel uh, gets updated over, like I said, hopefully this weekend, I'll have some time to work on that. And you'll see this little like button icon thing that says other channels that this, uh, that this channel has or something. So there'll be another little button on there that you can see that it's connected to the podcast as well. So you have that as well. All right, guys, I guess that's about it. Uh, I will put up the end screen. You can check out the, the stuff below. We went over all this stuff here, or you can stay here till the end. And it's just going to go ahead and just replay, basically. You can replay it. You can scroll forward, scroll back, and see all the stuff we talked about. All right, guys. See you, Evans. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Remember, tomorrow, 10 and 8. Okay, so 10 a.m., 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will see you back then. Take care, and I'll talk to you later.